John, I, I'm curious about this. We always hear from VCs that they are kind of the backers of the executives and their portfolio companies, but now LPs are in the spotlight. How much concern is uh, the Saudi backing in the Vision Fund? Is it something that's really having a visceral reaction in the Valley? Thanks for having me. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, it's fantastic that the conversation is really uh, reaching the, the heights that it is. We're now talking about where the money comes from, and I think it's good for the ecosystem. And a conversation is one thing, but uh, action might be another. Is there fear that folks don't want somebody like SoftBank with its LP partner, uh, Saudi Arabia, in their cap table? Will companies turn down investment from these massive funds because they don't like who they're aligning with? You know, I think the best entrepreneurs always have a choice. And what we're learning is that they're starting to ask the question about where the VC's monies come from. Uh, and most entrepreneurs are very mission driven. And so it matters to them uh, the track records of some of the LPs that are involved now with some of the most prominent VCs. I'm curious, uh, Masashi Sun has used his kind of um, per position of, of investment grander to make some change. Is there a possibility that he could actually go out and, and try to affect change in Saudi Arabia? Is that something you see out of Sun? Wow, I don't know that I'm qualified to say <laughs> what, he, what he's going to do in Saudi Arabia. So. <laughs> Well, then let me, let me talk to something that Unusual Ventures is uh, an expert in. Your LPs are chosen in a very particular manner. You're very conscious of who is backing your funds. Can you talk us through a little bit about why uh, you've chosen to do something that, uh, frankly, is, is unusual? Folks are selective, but maybe not quite as much as you've been. You know, I think entrepreneurs are our most precious resource. And as a venture capitalist, you really work for two constituents. You work for the entrepreneurs, and then you work for the investors who give you money. And so when we started Unusual, we felt there was an opportunity to do something that was better for entrepreneurs. But we also felt the responsibility to drive the industry forward. And that had everything to do with diversity of the venture capitalists themselves to where the money comes from and where that wealth creation ends up after the fact. We feel like it's one of the most uh, Im impactful places where we'll see growth in the economy going forward. And so at Unusual, we deliberately went to children's hospitals, historically black colleges, foundations, because we wanted to be working for them and we believed our entrepreneurs would care about that. So one of the, the best kind of quotes of the year in my mind was when Bill Gurley was talking to um, Bloomberg Tech anchor Emily Chang back at the Goldman Conference earlier this year. He said something that I've seen, but he kind of put into good words, uh, that uh, VCs these days uh, want to be in the best companies, and so they're perhaps not putting as much pressure on management teams when it comes to governance as perhaps an investor should. Are we at an inflection point here where uh, VCs should be kind of taking a tougher stance, even if that means uh, the next deal down the road, they're not given that, that stake and that spot in, uh, in a company? Well, well, Bill's a smart guy and he's been doing this a long time. You know, I, I think that the best entrepreneurs are going to ask, start asking the question, and that's really what it's about. We start with transparency. It's, it's not different than the gender equality issue that we've been talking about a lot the past year. The entrepreneurs didn't used to always ask about that, and so now you're seeing them step up and say, hey, how about that gender equality at your firm? I think similarly, you're going to see the same thing with the investor base. And so I think, yeah, you will see VCs thinking a lot more about where they take that money and the entrepreneurs they work with, and that's, that's where this all starts. That's where the change begins. Quickly here, are you seeing um, CEOs ask you about your LPs more often these days, or are they caring about who is backing the ones who are backing them? In the past week, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this has been an amazing uh, surfacing of the issue, and there's a real backlash. And I think from our perspective, it's great 